Northwest Georgia, a great place to live, to work, to enjoy life, and to raise a family. But like anywhere else, Northwest Georgia has its problems. Every student must have a solid educational foundation, and that begins with our K-12 through schools. The Governor's Office of Student Achievement rates all the school districts in the state. Of all the counties in Georgia's 14th Congressional District, all but one have a C rating or worse. But that doesn't tell the whole story. Individual schools are rated too. In the Georgia 14th, 29 schools have a D rating and 9 have an F. Clearly, the district schools need help. But what can Northwest Georgia's representative in Congress do now that she's lost her seat on the Education Committee because she called the Parkland shooting a hoax? She harassed survivors of school shootings and claimed the tragedies were staged. And she doesn't even blame herself for saying it. I was allowed to believe things that weren't true. And worse, she doesn't seem to care. I'm fine with being kicked off of my committees because it'd be a waste of my time. Improving her district schools is a waste of her time. But hitting the road with Matt Gates, that's not only a waste of your time, it's a waste of your vote. It's as if you have no representative in Congress at all. And yes, people can say it's unfair and blame others for her troubles, as she does. I was allowed to believe things that weren't true. But ask yourself, instead of Sandy Hook or Parkland, what if it had been your kid's school in Rome or Dalton? Calhoun, Cedartown, Ringgold, or Rockmart. Do you want someone who ever believed that school shootings were a hoax representing your schools in Washington? Do you want that person representing your district at all?